What's up, everybody? It's your favorite, better late than never's favorite nerd. Today, we are looking at X Transbot's masterpiece, Megatron, or their Apollyon. And uh, a lot of people have been looking forward to my thoughts on this thing. <clears throat> so, I don't want to take up too much time. We'll talk about it as we go. But he does come with a boatload of accessories. He comes with his lightsaber, or I guess third party lightsaber from the 86 movie. And uh, actually, I guess it'd be fourth party lightsaber now. But it's uh, not like a paint which is uh, kind of par for the course with these accessories. He does hold it like a champ. No issues there. And we'll take that out. He comes with this pistol. And this does have some paint on it. It looks like it's a purple. I don't know. Now it looks like it might have been, like the purple might be painted on and the silver. Same type of deal. Holds it find it's not as good uh, probably because they didn't account for the layer of paint that is on top but it will go in you just kind of it does it, the fit isn't as good as that uh that not lightsaber he comes with this helmet which does have a fair amount of paint on it we got like a bluish paint up there uh, no outline between the blue and the purple here on the side so it does kind of look cheesy uh, got the white on the back and then this metallic purple around it and then the silver mouthpiece bit and it fits on his head no problem so if you're interested in that that is an option it is a tight fit on the head so I'm not sure how that will affect I don't see any silver residue in there but individual results may vary he comes with this piece here which has the little bit of meteorite I think it was on there and that would just tab in over here and then you'd have that I'm not gonna do it I, I you know I, I think it's a nice thought but it's not necessary for me the the rock is painted blue and um, that's that and then he has this which is I believe the key to Vector Sigma it's been a while um, gold painted and no real uh, anything special it doesn't tab in so you just gotta kinda see if we can't manipulate this thumb kind of hold it and he holds it fine once you get it in there and lastly well, I guess not lastly to be honest with you but for him this uh, mace bit uh, ball up these individual articulated fingers and let's see oh, well I was a little forceful but it still shouldn't have popped off that way but let's keep a running count so that's one uh, fold this down here open that up there that's a tight little fit and then make sure that you got all these little articulated fingers that some of you seem to love perfectly lined up and then gee many Christmas I don't like that no, that's just that's two just as a heads up um, down and then back and then once you have this you can just slide this and it it only slides onto one side I, I can't get it in all the way so to speak but there it is pop the ball joint back on it up and then you have his battle station which comes like this pull those down spread them so to speak and then put this on there the 
take this piece, open up these, which is not easy, get this little tab down, plug that in, take this long piece, y'all, pull that off, this has a, uh, a little cross piece that comes down, insert it there, which is, so doesn't give you the warm and fuzzies, insert that on there, and then you have this piece, my buddy T2RX6 said you could take a screwdriver and insert it in, now he didn't say a small one, and just kind of, and I'm not having any luck with that, um, let me see if I can't grab a bigger screwdriver. So we're going to use a, we're going to start off with a just straight screwdriver. It's a snap-on screwdriver. I highly recommend them. They're fantastic. A little costly, but they'll outlast a Harbor Freight unit. No dice. So we'll have to try something some other time. Uh, just insert that onto here. Uh, I know... T2RX6 got his through BBTS and I got mine through TF Source, which is my probably my last purchase with TF Source, incidentally. Um, but maybe that's part of the issue. So this other option you can do is you can take his uh, fusion cannon here and it pops off and then this slides, theoretically. Mine's super tight. And then that can... Fit up here and you kind of can give it that look if you want and then you can also take this whole assembly apart take that off this sucks because it, it doesn't sit nice at a 90 degree angle so you kind of gotta but that's terrible it's terribly made that part right there um and uh that is supposed to theoretically plug into there, but I can tell you that's a circle and this is a cross, so that's not going to work. So you take this and you got to wedge your fingernail in here to grab these these two parts here to bring this piece out so that you can slide that down in there. E for effort. All right, so let's talk about this figure. I'll, I'll try to deal with this orange cap at the end because I'm already. I'm already down one there, right? But uh, head sculpt is nice. Somebody asked me to take a look at small indentations in the top of the head. He does have them. I'm trying to get you a good angle to see it. They're right there. You see? See how the light's hitting there? It's like a circle. But it's not that big of a deal in real life. It kind of almost looks like it's uh, like this is highlighted correctly like this piece here which if you were to like paint it or customize it or something like that or if you were like painting a model that was like this um that's where you would apply it but yeah it's it's an imperfection so that is what it is the face sculpt uh i don't enjoy as much in in person it kind of looks like he's wearing a hamburglar mask a little bit um i usually like the black outline the red paint but i do like the red paint on the eyes it's just uh i don't know in person, it doesn't look as good as I expected. Profile looks good. Overall, it's a decent head sculpt. You know, it's pretty much just this silver paint applied to it. My helmet's a little loose on the head, if you can see that. I'm not sure what that means. Probably because there should be screws that go in there, maybe? I don't know. And other than that, the head sculpt looks pretty good. Got a decent, it's on a swivel, which is not optimal. A swiveled hinge would have been nice, like most masterpieces, so there's no looking up. Oh, well, I guess the whole thing hinges. I gotcha. So yeah, that that's that's fixed. Mine was just the paint was stuck or something. Yep, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I got a little bit of smudge in there, but overall, that'll work. That'll do. Clever. Okay. Moving on down the figure, we got a solid silver chest, and we still do have the indentations. If you can see, there's one, two, three, four. 
So they're still there. These open up, supposedly. not off to a good start, Apollyon. There we go. So, there we go. We got that in there. I forget what that was. But, they got that in there. Nice sculpt and line work. You know, decent. Over here, let's see if we can't shake that one out a little bit. There it is. Now, this is the one that if you, if you pull out this So that piece just falls out and then let's see so this is going to go like that I hate I hate this um, element just so you know but okay so there you go plugs in now you got that blue thing on there if you want it um, not worth the trouble if you ask me but the option is available let's plug the proper one back in and continue our journey. Okay, so the arms are on a big ball joint, which we all know is going to be an issue. Um, the piece inside the ball joint is will, will swivel as well, um, but the ball joint's loose enough where you're not going to be able to utilize that at the moment anyway. Uh, is that three or four? Uh, elbow has a has a bicep swivel, so that's good. Elbow at an extreme joint kind of gives you the Admiral Akbar face, if you can see it. Look at the red. My buddy Gray pointed that out to me. Looks like Admiral Akbar, but not not hateful, but it is definitely there. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. It's a trap! Um, fingers are all individually articulated. If you know me, you know I hate that. Um, I find them to be fiddly, I find them to be ineffective, and I find them to be aesthetically ugly. But that is the choice that they made. You do get your wrist swivel. Thin, paper-thin ball joint there, hinge, paper-thin ball joints, all the base knuckle, and then two hinges on each finger, so you can do whatever you want, I suppose. Uh, not my, not my, my favorite cup of tea. No real paint applied other than the silver, but I'm not sure if it should. This is one of those things where if you were a customizer and you were really good with washes and inks, you could probably make something really cool. Uh, like we talked about Admiral Akbar, the uh, elbow does come down to 90 degrees, so you got that. Moving on to the other arm, same ball joint. All the all the articulation is uh, the same, including it's a trap. And then here we have the fusion cannon, which keeps falling off of mine. Um, but you can do this number and. Uh, Put it at the front, you know, on top if you want. If that's your thing, it's uh, it's not necessarily my thing, but the option is available to you. It's just a theory, a series of swivels, and uh, that'll probably come off, so it'll make it even easier to get back to the way you want it. And then plug it back in. Uh, the ball joint here, under the weight of the arm, pretty much fails except forward. For some reason, it holds up pretty fine. Out to the side, no dice, as you can see. Problem with ball joints. Waist. Swivel works fine. No issues, no problems. Uh, the back of the figure is pretty clean, I must say, given everything that's going on with them. Pretty nicely done. And they even painted these little red paints on, on, the, on the wires, which I think is a nice touch. Something they didn't have to do, but decided to do. All the paint detailing in the, in the abdomen looks good. Once again, probably some wash on these vents here will make this thing really pop. All right, the pelvis seems a little big to me, but um, not hatefully so. These uh, flaps all articulate to give you full range of motion on your universal joints on the thighs, which are non-ratcheted out to the side but seem to hold fine and are ratcheted front and back. So that's nice. Nicely done. The thigh swivel is built into the universal joint where it meets the thigh which is fine. We got a knee that's ratcheted that gets you almost 90 degrees. Close enough, I'd say. And then the uh, this 
finish here on this gray is really uh, pretty, for lack of a better term. It's it's really quite nice. I really like that like gun metal they use there. Looks good. I got silver paint on my finger. Just pointing that out. Uh, ankles, we got a tilt. And I know there's a rocker in here. Hold on. A tilt. I can see. No, maybe not. Yeah, there's the rocker. The rocker's on a hinge. So you'll be able to get them to extreme stances, but no issue. Um, no toe tilt, but I don't think you really need it. And then the heel is also on a hinge, so that should help too. All this red detailing inside here, I've heard people complain about it. I personally like it. I think it breaks it up and makes it look a little bit interesting. And that's pretty much the figure in a nutshell. Now... Before we go any further, we are going to transform this puppy. We are going to break it into sections. Some of it is going to be montage, but it's just because it's kind of a pain. Before we go any further, my advice to you right now is that unless you are really interested in how this thing transforms, I'm not sure it's worth the trouble because there's small pieces, there's small moving pieces, there are opportunities for breakage. I already had my mace. Uh, have a pretty significant stress mark at the base of it there uh, trying to get it out of his uh, what you call so it's X trans boss they have a sketchy history with uh, durability of their product so unless you really need gun mode I'm not sure that I would do it if I were you but we are gonna go through it quick before we transform he does have the laser beat gimmick um, he has this little notch there and then it slots into the foot of laser beak and then uh, you gotta, I gotta adjust uh, laser beak's head in order for it to work because uh, the ball joint will pop off. Fold this piece up to 90 degrees. Do it. To, we'll do it both at the same time. Untab that. Fold that piece down. Heels come down like that, and then your flaps come back down. Pull these gray sections out. Take this whole assembly here, move it around, swivel it around, fold it on top, do the same on the other side, bring it out, swivel it around, Fold it down, bring the trigger up, bring these down, and collapse the silver part onto the front. Then collapse the whole leg. Um, this piece here pushes in. You got to get this piece all the way down the bottom. I'm not even sure if that's going to be good enough, but we'll see. <laughs> that's actually a little bit of a funny look from the other side. A little Game of Thrones-ish. Alright, let's fix the handle of the gun. So you got all these pieces here, bring this down, this will capture the foot, and then this straighten out the best you can and that tabs into the heel but fold this piece up there you go all this kind of has to line up
And it's really, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, it looks like, hold on. Okay, I figured it out, I had to mess with it a bit. So, this piece flips back over the front, and that allows all that to tab in. And then, this tabs in as well. It's, it's frustrating. It's got that going for it. I'm not sure if that's intended or not, but there. So you got to be kind of forceful with it. And with the reputation that this company has, I'm not comfortable. So got to push it on. <laughs> okay. So it's like, it seems like everything has a place. But you, it's hard to find it, like lock it in. Like it's like you can tell where things are supposed to go, or it seems like where they're supposed to go, but they don't go there. Come on. Come on. Seriously? There. Fold this piece down. Rotate that piece up. That plugs in there, see if we can't lock that puppy in right now. And then all of this comes down and captures the foot. Money. All right. This piece, you gotta rotate that piece out. And that just unpopped. Uh, bring this down and this has got to lock in very very frustrating now I don't know why I'm having such difficulties untabbing this side and the other side just fell out I mean mess with it okay so I had to get it with a screwdriver I just slid a flathead screwdriver right in there to pop these out <sighs> fold this piece out here it comes all the way up these black pieces fold in and then this folds back down and let's see here. This trigger guard folds up, silver paint on my finger right there. And then the trigger itself is on a spring. So you lock it into place and as you do so, close the back of the trigger guard. And then get your tab on. All right, so I'll clean this up and line these tabs up and I'll come back to you. Fold these pieces up. Look, it's not painted on that side. So you can see the plastic, which is pretty funny. And this one won't stop, just as an FYI. Let's clean these arms up. So open up this tough flap again here. And this time swivel it onto the top. Bring this piece down. Fold this black piece up. And then fold this little thin piece up there. Is that four or five? And then fold the hand in. Line up. Push in. This piece comes down anyway, so might as well do that while we're here. And then I believe it rotates or slides on this sliding mechanism here. To the back, and mine is stressing. Um, there. Significant stress mark 
inside right there so be mindful before we put that back on we'll try to save us a little bit of uh, frustration and do this one so same thing fold this up slide it around never mind so I think that's five and close that rack bar close the fist individual fingers making it difficult there got her got him open that up bring that fold that forward collapse this pull this piece down here slide it to the front that one went much better much better let me get them back connected all right so you pull this piece out make sure that when you swivel the waist hold the gun in your left hand and face the back of Megatron untab this black piece and then shift this whole section like this whole bar here down and it does not feel good I'm gonna leave it out for just a second we're gonna do the same to the other side. Six, seven. Open that. Bring this around here. And now we're gonna do our best. There we go. Come on, girl. And you bring both of these back around to the back. This should be down. Now's as good a time as any to uh, pull this down, pull this hole, use this as a lever to hinge this whole piece, and you can tug Megatron's head. Might be worthwhile spinning it. I'm not sure which is going to. And then bring this piece up and over till that snaps in, and then bring down the gun. Bring it around and tab it into that hole, which mine is not a great fit, as you can see. More tomfoolery. So, this whole thing has got a berry in there. It's hard to explain what to do, but if you, if you just spin it around, it'll catch. Manipulate it till it folds in. Make sure this is down again. And that's how it should be. So let me connect my arm. I don't know how well you can see that, but and and these tab together. I didn't close this piece in. A lot of people have been worried about the stability of this piece. You saw how hard I was pushing down and it didn't fail. So that's a good sign because I was, that's totally on me. There. Now this should theoretically go down. And it's just a matter of cleaning her up. I'm gonna do the best I can off camera and then we'll come back I got a feeling that this review is running a little long already. It probably could be cleaned up a lot more with a person that has a lot more patience at the moment, but uh, all my patience is pretty much run out, and uh, I'm at the end of my rope. Um, the parts that aren't real clean is this trigger guard here. Um, 
finger guard or whatever. Um, and I kind of feel like this should sit a little bit better. And uh, this should, I guess, slide forward a little bit more, but the plastic is, is, is breaking on mine, so I don't want to do it. Well, it's stressing. I shouldn't say breaking. Stressing. Um, the trigger does have the spring, so there's, there's the pull on it, which is nice. Um, you can activate this, or activate. Uh, you can utilize this same gimmick here and add that on to her, which feels pretty good. All right, let's finish off this gun. So, insert that. Doesn't like, you know, it stays. It's not going anywhere. It doesn't like click or anything. Take your, this piece, and... piece, that piece, and there you go. And that is a uh, very Megatron-y. Uh, it's hard to get it all in scale, but I mean in the, sh in the frame, but yeah, I mean it's no mistaking that that's him. All right, in a moment of truth, we're going to try this other method. Removing, and you know what? I don't care. Now that one loosened right up. So, no problems there. Just for a size comparison, there are the big dogs together at last, which is a good feeling. Final thoughts is he worth it? My answer is no. After two times of transforming him, I've got scratch marks all along the seams of the paint. i got scratch marks on the barrel. The barrel is a little wibbly-wobbly. I've got scratch marks along the seams here on this piece. I couldn't get this thing open before. Now it's flopping around. You know, obviously the ball joints are an issue. Uh, let's see what else we got. The transformation is a nightmare and parts of the transformation make you feel like you're putting the toy at risk especially when lifting this section after it collapses lifting it back up um, this uh, piece here that comes undone this little hook piece that comes swings out uh, it feels like uh, you can get caught you can open this whole hinge piece there and have access to it which is nice and I don't know if I mentioned or not, but there's all this detailing in there, which is uh, cool. Maybe they spent a little less time doing stuff like that. And a little bit more time making sure their paint wasn't going to scratch off. Or, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's not, like, I've got paint on the red. Like, let me see if I can. It might have. It might have come off by now, but, like, I got paint, like the paint is flicking off. I got it all over, like you see all these little flecks. Uh, I'm not sure there's one. There's a few in there. It's just, it, it's got the blaster syndrome, like the same problem that blaster had. I'm having a hard time getting this leg to snap back into place. It's just, it's frustrating. It's really frustrating. And... It's, I don't know, it's 150 bucks. Is this 150 bucks? You know, I feel like if they would have made it 200 bucks and put a little extra time, care, and effort into this thing, they would have had a better toy. I've got plastic stressing on the, uh, on the, on the, on the screws that, around the, around the screws that hold this, the, the side pieces that slide. There's a lot of fiddliness, like this stuff doesn't tab in, you know, or stay kind of firmly in place, and this stuff doesn't really stay firmly in place. It's just, this is supposed to, um, but it's just, it's frustrating, and I think it's more trouble than it's worth. I don't, I, I, I don't think I can recommend this. I don't know, it feels messy. Even my box wasn't working properly. I think this should be glued into here. Um, 
Not quite. Kind of. Glued-ish. There is some good in him, uh, much like Vader. The silhouette is great. Getting him out of the box and putting him on the shelf, I think, is the smart way to go about it. If you transform him, he will start to deteriorate on you. But if he can't transform, is he a good transformer? That's the question. My way of doing business dictates to me that I should tell you no. His look is great out of the box. Going from out of the box to the shelf, you'll have no problems. Uh, he'll look great with your Masterpiece cons. The accessories are outstanding. They're really thought out. They kind of left uh, no stone unturned. You know, they tapped into as much of the mythology as they could. All the different elements that are kind of reminiscent of his character in the G1 cartoon. So they're really, really tremendous. I, I think they did a great job with the accessories overall. I think that the problem is, is that this is a really complex toy with a lot of moving parts. And he's 150 bucks from a questionable company. And I think that if he would have been 200 250 bucks, and they could have dumped that much more money into making him, I think you would have had a great looking figure and a great transformer, which this guy doesn't properly do. I am frustrated with him. So, you know, you know, sometimes I can get a little upset about, you know, when things don't work properly or, or what have you. But there are there's a lot wrong with him. There's a lot that's frustrating with him. At some point, I can say he's kind of worth 150 bucks, but he's just not the toy that you want for 150 bucks. You want the 200, 250 dollar version of this toy that works like a champ. This one doesn't work like a champ. It just presents itself well. It's like a great boxer with a glass jaw. I know uh, I'm going to catch a fair amount of uh, flack on this one from from people who disagree with me, and and that's cool. You know, opinions are opinions. All I can do is tell you why I don't like him and show you on the piece um, the issues that I have with him and why I have those issues. So I hope that makes sense. He's not Kronos bad or anything. I'm not returning him. I'm just not happy. It's not the toy I want. And it's not the toy I deserve. I don't know what it is. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.